and the bustling marketplace of Mecca, a peculiar scene unfolded. A camel, normally known for its stoicism, was creating quite a stir. It wasn't just its disgruntled snorts, but the string of eloquent Arabic words flowing from its lips. The animal, it seemed, had become possessed by the spirit of a traveling poet, who, upon his demise, found himself inexplicably inhabiting the camel's body. The early Muslims, known for their wisdom and humor, were at a loss. Some believed it a divine message, others a mischievous jinn, genie. The most pragmatic, like the young Ali ibn Abi Talib, decided a good cup of dates and a soothing rubdown might just be the cure for the camel's poetic outburst. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Stoutemal.